Hey everyone, I'm Suplali. And I'm Troy. Who are we? We're Special Olympics U.S. Youth Ambassadors from Northern California. What the what? We're a pair of youth leaders with and without intellectual disabilities chosen to help make the world a more inclusive place. We believe all identities deserve to be included. We do this through Special Olympics Unified Champion Schools. That's right. Being an inclusive youth leader is just one part of what makes us who we are. Yeah, I'm also a Mexican-American, a dancer, a daughter and sister, student and advocate. I'm an African-American male, a little brother, a student, a basketball player, and I have autism. But enough about us. Who are all of you? I'm a natural born climber. He is game horse. I am the greatest earthbender in the world. Do you have any special skill? Ah, I can't remember a thing. If you're having a hard time answering that question, it's OK. <sighs> You've come to the right place because today's episode of Unified Talks is with our friends from Nickelodeon, and it's all about identity. Along the way, we are going to play I Spy SpongeBob. We should solve another mystery now. Yeah, uh, how about the mystery of where all my coins went? Huh? Uh, uh. Grab a piece of paper, make a tally mark each time you identify our friend SpongeBob. He will be popping up to support our episode Listen and watch closely so you don't miss a thing. At the end, type your guesses in the comments. We're going to play two. The winner will be slimed. Oh, I so got this. Identity can be a hard word to define. If you look up the word identity, it can be defined as what a person is. But what a person is can include a wide range of things. Like where you come from, what you believe, your behaviors, your likes and hobbies, your looks and thoughts, and even your relationship with others. Whoa, our identities are complex and amazing. There isn't one part that makes up our identity. Instead, they're like ingredients in a dessert. They all come together to make something great. Squidward, this is the best souffle you have ever created. Mm. Let's work together to figure out some of our identities. We've already told you some of ours, so now it's time to help you. We can start with thinking about our values. Values are what you think are important. They help guide your life and determine how you act and what you push for. Special Olympics has a set of values. As inclusive youth leaders, we really believe in these values. But first, what are your values? Being Mexican is not about eating spicy food or wearing sombreros. It's about familia. Psst, sorry. You know the rules, Dad. No phones at the dinner table. I just want to help people not hurt people. So cool to hear about all the things you find important. Our top three values are respect, teamwork, and inclusion. Respecting others can empower you and those around you. It is all about trying to understand those around you and embracing differences. I've missed your dad's tuna casserole. Not as much as I've missed your abuelas tamales. I try to do this by asking my friends questions about their lives and their backgrounds. Teamwork is important on and off the field. Yes! Chor and I work together as a team to spread inclusion. We help each other and support one another. It's also more fun to work together than to work apart. Valuing inclusion teaches us that everyone, including people with intellectual disabilities, has strengths. Someone with a disability may do things a little differently, but they are strong and able. I see with earthbending. It's kind of like seeing with my feet. I have autism, I am strong, I can learn, and I enjoy spending time with my friends. Sometimes I have to relax my mind in different ways when I get nervous, but I am still able to accomplish many things. If you have similar values, then you are an inclusive leader too. With power comes responsibility. Oh yeah! Sometimes it's hard to put exact words to what you value. If you're stuck, start by answering a few questions like, what do you like to learn about? Do you like to learn about empowering people in history? You may value courage. Let's do this. What makes you happy? If you like drawing or other forms of art, you might value creativity. Ah, lucky Squidward. It's you and me playing leapfrog. That's you on the bottom. Give me that. Do you like to play unified sports? You probably value sportsmanship. Who do you look up to and why? If they make you feel happy and confident, you value growth and learning. 
other parts of our identity, like what we are interested in, who our friends are, and the food we like may change. Early bird gets the chilaquiles. Chilaquiles? Mm -hmm. Andale, eat, eat. Morning, abuela. But no matter what, our core values stay the same. Another part of your identity is where you are from. This includes our ethnicity and your culture. These parts of ourselves don't change, but as we grow, we learn to appreciate them more and more. What's all this? It's for our Dia de los Muertos celebration. Day of the Dead. Oh, is that like Mexican Halloween? It has nothing to do with Halloween. It's the day that we honor our loved ones who have passed away. So, Lali, how do you appreciate your culture? I show off and value my identity as a Mexican-American by practicing folklorico, a genre of dance. Mira, mi prima Carlota. Uh, just practicing my folklorico, as I do. How about you, Troy? As an African-American, I celebrate Kwanzaa with my family. Kwanzaa is all about being together as a family. And since we're all together, we've got to celebrate. My family loves to celebrate. We also celebrate Autism Awareness Month with colorful shirts and socks. Learn about your own identity. Ask a family or community member. Maybe you can dive into your history together. When you have an open mind to learn more about your background, you'll also have an open mind to learn about the backgrounds of your friends and peers. Come join us. We were just making our traditional paper chain of all the things we're thankful for. You'll get closer to people and begin to appreciate other identities and all of their wonderful qualities. This will make people feel appreciated and make the world more inclusive. Good for your soul. So, who are you? I think I have the answer. We hope you can start to answer that question now. Remember, start by thinking about your value and learning about your background. Before we go, we need to figure out the winner of our game. I know I saw SpongeBob 11 times. Nice try, Troy. I saw him 12 times, and I know I'm right. Responsibility. Ah! See you next time, Unified Generation. See you next time, Unified Generation.